afternoon. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham announced last week the state would be aggressively enforcing mask wearing in public. But is that happening? News 13's Annalisa Pardo got answers today. She joins us live from home. Annalisa. Lizzie, a number of local police departments say they're deferring to state police to enforce masks, which is leading to the state order not really being enforced, which is something the governor called for last week. I worked diligently with you. It was a partnership not to have to go to mandatory masks to start with and to secondly to just use positive reinforcement by our peers and that isn't working. So now we're going to do enforcement and hold people accountable. But that doesn't seem to be happening. New Mexico State Police says it's only issued one citation, which was to an Ace Hardware in Portales on Sunday. Albuquerque Police Department says it hasn't given out any citations and is focusing on educating people on the order. We asked the city why APD, one of the state's largest law enforcement agencies, is not enforcing the public order. The city's spokesperson says the attorney general only created a way for law enforcement agencies to issue citations this weekend, saying that now APD officers may cite violators as an option. Last week, Mayor Tim Keller said enforcement is up to state police. But uh, certainly with respect to our department, we're going to handle it the same way as we've handled restaurant closures, occupancies and so forth. So that means first education, maybe a series of warnings, uh, multiple steps before we would ever look at an actual fine. But according to the governor's office, that shouldn't be the case. It sent out this memo to all law enforcement agencies statewide, saying it's on both state police and local departments to cite violators not using masks. And that, that penalty for violating the public order and not wearing a mask is a $100 fine. Back to you. Okay.